I'd like to show you an aspect of LogoPress 3 blank that I think you're going to find quite incredible. A uh, big part with tiny features. Let's open that dumb Parasolid file and let's save it right away. Big part with tiny features. And if you haven't picked this up on other videos I've made yet, display curvature, very great command. To show you how ugly a part is, give you an idea of what the, the curvature of the part is, what's flat on the part, etc. So here we've got some flat areas of the part, and the curvature will show us. You can see the 0 0.0625, and in fact, this area is a curvature of zero. It's flat. And let's go down at this end, and same thing, 0625 with a flat surface there. What is this, uh, 187? And let's get an idea of this, 1.5, 250. So that gives you a good idea of what the part looks like right now. And um, again, that's not at all flat. There's some curvature to this, 28-inch radius etc. So you get the idea of uh, what the part looks like. All right, let's go to LogoPress blank for stamped part. And for starting or pinching, we're going to select this edge. And it recognizes the material thickness. And let's say compute. And I think you'll find that, uh, boy, I don't think there's any other software that's remotely close to having a feature like this one. It's really great. And there we've got our preview of our blank. And let's go ahead and create the blank. And now we're going to hide the initial part just so that we can analyze the blank a bit. And now let's go back and turn our curvature back off. View display curvature. And look at these small features here, how it retained the small undercuts. And this was 0625, 0.625. Actually, perhaps I'll turn the curvature back on a moment display curvature that might make it easier to look at. And uh, this was a 250 radius. This was uh, 1.5 radius. And all of those features have been retained. This one down here. 4998, so that was a half inch radius. So again, it uh, does a really nice job of retaining that geometry that you want to be retained. And now let's look back again at the, the original part. And now I'll hide the second one so you can see it better. So again, look at the tiny features there. And uh, that was a uh, measure that and a 500 radius. So again, does a really nice job of retaining features, even when they're little teeny tiny features. Let's go back into the analysis and simulation one more time and preview the mesh that it created on the part. Even though we've got great big mesh elements on the areas, uh, we've got intelligent meshing that allows us to recognize these areas. Very, very neat. And there's our blank. So I hope you like it a lot. It will make you much, much more productive.